Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, I hope you're well. Think of the minor six chord as a close cousin to the minor seven. It's got a dark, tense sound that songwriters love. In this video, I'm gonna show you a few ways to play it. I'm gonna show you how songwriters use it, and then I'll show you a few examples you can use over the track you just heard. Let's get started. A good way to start with any new chord is to relate it to a chord you already know. I'm gonna start with this D minor seven, which is spelt root, fifth, flat seventh, minor third. And all I have to do to turn that into a D minor six is take the C, the flat seventh, down a semitone to a natural or major six, the B, and there's the D minor six chord. So that's a root position, D minor six chord, and it's spelled root D, fifth A, major six, natural six B, and then minor third F. But you can hear that even just changing that one note, the C to the B, changes the sound of the chord completely. Let's take a look at the next inversion, the first inversion, which is here. And that's spelled minor third F, sixth B, root D, and fifth A. And then the next inversion is up here. And that's fifth, root, minor third, and the sixth on top. So that's the second inversion. And then the third inversion, we can play down here. And that's the sixth in the bass, B, minor third, F, fifth, A, and the root is on top, D. So here are the four shapes. Root position, first inversion, second inversion, and third inversion. I've just launched a new mini course where I'm looking at the minor six chord in more detail. That's on my Patreon and you'll find the link in the description below. I'm showing you more ways to play the chord, how songwriters use it, and several examples of how to play over that Marvin Gaye song that you heard at the start. You'll get the backing track, the tab, and a longer version of this lesson all on video. And it's all for less than the price of a few cups of coffee. You can use minor six chords in a number of different ways. It's very commonly played as a two chord, but a lot of songwriters use it as the four chord when they want to create what's called a minor plagial cadence, a minor four chord moving to a one chord. Let's check out how that sounds. So a very standard minor plagial cadence would be D minor to A major like this. But if we convert that shape to the D minor six, we get much more dark, interesting sound. And that's the effect that we're hearing on the Marvin Gaye song right at the beginning. We have an A major to a B major to a D minor six, resolving to an A major. So there's the minor plagial cadence. So let's hear some of the ways we can play the minor plagial cadence. So the basic version would be D minor to A major. We can add some color by turning that to D minor seven to A major. But our minor six chord gives us even more color when resolving to the one. Whenever you learn new chords, it's essential that you learn how to put it into practice. So in this section, I'm gonna show you several ways to play over that Marvin Gaye song that we started with. All we're using here are A major and B major triads, and then the D minor six chord. Here they are.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope that's helped. Remember, check out the course on Patreon. You'll get the tab, more chord shapes, and the backing track with ideas of how to use this chord. You need to put these chords into practice so you can really start understanding them. And the best way to do that is to play on the song. Take care, and I'll see you soon.